Hey, this is Toad the Wet Sprocket, and you're watching Life Minute TV. If there seems to you to be a resurgence of all things 90s right now, you are seemingly right. Generation X is getting their time back in the spotlight, and that goes for musicians, too. Like this one, the hugely popular 90s alt-rock band Toad the Wet Sprocket. Well, now there are many loyal Gen X fans, as well as so many new ones are getting to see and hear them again. The Platinum Artists have recently released a long-awaited studio album, their first in eight years, called Starting Now, and they're taking it on the road. We met up with the band at their New York City tour stop at City Winery to hear all about it and more. This is a Life Minute with Toad the Wet Spot. Started this kind of just before things shut down in 2020. We got two days in the studio to do drums and, and things at a larger scale and basically got shut down and had to do everything else like kind of from our houses via Dropbox. Uh, and uh, the weirdest part I think was as the, as the year changed, in some ways, like, uh, you know, trying, to, I was writing about things that were a little topical, and I feel like a, as the situation changed, the songs kept having to become broader and broader and more philosophical. So it was a, it was a good personal exercise to try to figure out how to make the songs large enough to kind of take in everything that kept happening in the rate of change. One thing that hasn't changed, their desire to keep making music after more than three decades together. It feels pretty good, you know, um, to think that we would last this long when we started out. It, I don't think it ever occurred to any of us. Um, we were all in college and we probably thought this was a momentary diversion even when we got signed to a record label. And to, you know, forget still doing this after 35 years. If we didn't still have an audience after 35 years, that would be a problem. I think we've all been surprised at how many people are showing up. I think so happy to see music again. I mean, this whole experience has, I think, really shown me how much people deeply value music. And um, so, yeah, it's been, it's just been really beautiful to see people coming out. Part of the fun of having a new album is we get to, you know, Play our newest songs. But don't worry, old fans, you'll still hear all your fave older hits too. The ones that are kind of the closest to our hearts and, you know, that we're still kind of uh, have that, you know, they still have new song smell. And who doesn't like new song smell? Uh, but we also play all the hits. We're doing a cool thing where we open the show with uh, an acoustic song, all singing around one mic. Everybody comes out and, and joins Glenn, uh, playing one of the new songs. Um, and it, it, the, the crowd is just really, really enjoying that a lot. And then we go straight into, into the, the full set after that. And that's something that we have never done before, but kind of, um, I don't I know, I've, I've always wanted to put a little acoustic break either in the middle or, but starting the show with it has been really cool. And it came out of a, uh, a uh, slight, power failure moment that happened in Santa Barbara actually where it became a necessity to start the show acoustically and then we went wow that worked well and so we, we just said that obviously that's the way it's supposed to go and we, we worked it in and it has been going over great. What's next? More music. I'm midway through the solo, uh, another solo record right now and excited to start writing for another Toad record get everybody involved and kind of ask what we want the next one to be, you know. So I think this one was a lot more songs down and I think the next one is going to be more like the band's intent as the root of it and then right, right into that. So whatever that ends up being. I need a little bit of hope. And as for that 90s resurgence, they're seeing it too. I mean, my kids certainly look like they're, uh, they're all in their 20s now and they all look like we used to look. I'm, I'm always shocked at the, the, the clothes they wear. My the, kid is shopping. The rest of it's the, great. She's shopping at the thrift store, my 18 year old, and recently asked me to get tickets for the two of us to go see Dinosaur Jr. of all things in Hollywood. Um, because that's what she wants to go see. So yeah, I'm seeing it in my own house. Check out ToadTheWetSprocket.com for tour dates. To hear more of this interview, check out the Life Minute TV podcast on iTunes and all streaming platforms.